Good morning. Got a verse for you. It's uh, May 5th, Tuesday morning, around uh, 6 45, close to 7 o'clock. Out enjoying a walk. Here's the verse it's uh, Philippians chapter 2, verse 3. Philippians chapter 2, verse 3. Roger, let nothing be done through strife. Wow. Let nothing be done through strife or vain glory, but in lowness of mind, esteem others better than yourselves. Philippians 2 3. Philippians 2 3. Let nothing be done through strife or vain glory. But in lowliness of mind, esteem others better than yourself. Philippians 2.3 When you consider that verse and all of the uh, social media conflict, when you consider that verse and all the hate, uh, all the dissension, all of the fighting, the bickering that seems to be going on, it's nothing new it's just we recognize how broken we are so for just a few moments let me just break that verse down a little bit starts off Paul says to the church at Philippi let nothing be done through strife that's a pretty big uh, request it's basically a call for unity. It's a call for oneness. It's basically saying love one another, honor one another. It's saying, look, you're together in this. Jesus died for every Christian that you can imagine. Those that are big, those that are small, those that are smart, those that are not so smart, those that you like, those that you dislike. Let nothing be done through strife. The point is, Jesus died for your spouse. Jesus died for your neighbor. Jesus died for your children. Jesus died for your boss. Let nothing be done through strife. But at the end of the verse, it says, consider others, esteem others more highly than yourself. So you have to back up and understand that God wants us to start from the position of servanthood. If you want to not argue and fight, you have to be willing to be great at listening. So a servant has this capacity to listen, to serve, not bicker, not argue, not fight. So I want to encourage you, as you live your lives, God wants you to be a servant. Because as you're serving others, you're not arguing. You're not fighting. You're not bickering. Let nothing be done through strife. Strife is that desire to control, that desire to um, be the boss, that desire to uh, tell people uh, this is right, this is wrong. But a servant, that's not the case. A servant basically has given up the leadership role and that servant is helping so one way not to be fighting with people is to listen and to help. I recognize that there's a right way and a wrong way. And, and I recognize that people love to fight over do it this way, not that way. But this verse is saying to a Christian, let nothing be done through strife esteem others more highly than yourself. I think to do that, you have to back up and be willing to be a servant of Jesus Christ. 
what that means is you're not gonna push and fight to be the boss you can listen and you can serve my guess is some of you are saying well yeah but I'll be taken advantage of well Jesus was definitely taken advantage of but usually remember I said a couple weeks ago it's more blessed to give than to receive usually when you're giving a helping hand when you're serving when you're offering your boss your best when you're offering your friends your best usually they will give an opportunity back to you to let you lead rather than just constantly take advantage Jesus left heaven came to earth and gave everything literally gave up everything that was precious to him he even to a large degree gave up his God ability and as a servant willingly followed the will of the Father do nothing by strife Philippians 2 3 let nothing be done through arguing strife conflict bickering griping moaning whining we know how to do it social media is big uh, we just chew each other up that next phrase says let nothing be done through strife or vain glory the idea of vain glory is literally selfishness I want the credit I want to be elevated and friends when you try to get that pat on the back when you try to get that compliment when you try to get recognized it's vain because when you're trying to toot your own horn when you're trying to get the spotlight on you you rob the glory of God God doesn't want you to be somehow or another advancing yourself he, that's not what he wants the first shall be last remember that little phrase in scripture the Bible is pretty clear that whatever you do do all to the glory of God again we saw that verse a couple of weeks ago vainglory is trying to get the credit even if you deserve it don't worry about it if you're doing it to God you will get credit if you're doing it to please God you will be honored you will be recognized in God's way there's another little phrase in this verse Philippians 2 3 let nothing be done through strife or vain glory but in lowliness of mind lowliness here is is not a pity party lowliness of mind is is basically a call for humility when we're fighting with people when we're, we're basically saying I know what's right I know the better way whether it's in a marriage or at work I'm the boss I'm gonna push because I know what's best but humility basically says yeah you may know what's best but we're not going to chew each other up we're not going to argue we're not going to hate we're not going to spew venom on each other because humbleness humility is basically a virtue to God it's not a virtue on earth it's not it's not something positive that people look at but humility is that quietness inside you don't have to be complimented if you're if you're headed to heaven you don't have to somehow or another get and push to be at the top so let me encourage you this humility comes by being a servant a servant of Jesus who literally doesn't have to get the credit 
so you know that God is watching and you're going to do what you do because God will give you the credit. God will bless. As you give, as you serve, even though you think the boss is a jerk, even though you think the people around you have got it all mixed up, you're going to stay humble. You're going to stay gentle. I like that last phrase in Philippians 2.3. It says, Let nothing be done through strife or vain glory, but in lowliness of mind, let esteem others better than themselves. So to esteem someone is basically to say, you're special, you're, you're gifted. Esteem others better than themselves is to look at someone and recognize that they have gifts, they've been made special in a different way than you. Not in the sense that uh, good, better, best, not in the sense of hierarchy, but God made the people around you unique. Your spouse, your boss, and you're going to give them honor. Esteem others more highly than yourself. You're going to value them you're going to recognize them because God has gifted them and God gave them to you. You're going to enjoy the goodness, the gifts, the talents of the other individuals because God made them. I find it in my life, people, people can become a misery. If I don't look at people the right way, if people are, I just want to walk away, just want to get away. But God made each person, Imago Dei, in God's image. Imago Dei, in the image of God. Your spouse, your children, your neighbors. I think that's why Jesus can say, love your enemies. I think that's why Jesus says, love one another esteeming others more highly in yourself recognizes imago day that god made the individuals around you even the people you don't like even the people you disagree with so take time as you live your life in this covid 19 let nothing be done through strife or vain glory, but in lowliness of mind, let each one of us esteem others better than themselves. Philippians 2.3. I think I could summarize that verse, Philippians 2.3, with that little phrase, serve one another, honor one another, help one another, encourage one another, teach one another, See, don't elevate yourself. If you're looking for advancement at work, do it as a servant. Learn not to bite. Do nothing through strife. Learn to be someone who enjoys life, even the people around you that you don't agree with. Work hard to follow in the footsteps of Jesus. In this COVID-19, we were squeezed. I call it cabin fever. I don't know how you're feeling today. I don't know how this last week has gone. But if you believe in Jesus, it doesn't matter how bad life gets. The God of the universe that's in control of everything, loves you unconditionally. The God of the universe sent his son, Jesus Christ, to die on the cross to show you what love looks like, sacrifice, what value looks like. He died for you. 
And this verse is simply saying, esteem others, value others the way Jesus values you. Jesus left heaven, came to earth, and valued you, cared for you, honored you to the point of dying on a cross. So Roger, please do nothing through strife or vain glory, but stay with humility, a lowliness of mind, is of mind, esteem others more highly than yourself. We want to encourage you that today's a great day. Today is not a bad day. This last week may have had challenges. You might have had some storms, but recognize that every storm, God is at work. God does beautiful things even when we cannot see it. And it's best for us not to bicker, not to gripe, not to whine, not to press to get the, the glory. It's better for us to back off, be a servant, and esteem others more highly than ourselves because God made that person, because God made them unique, because God gave them gifts and talents. It's not because we're we're the crazy one or they're the crazy one it's just simply by God's design have a good day uh, my time's up uh, it's great walking and talking and offering a little bit of hope to you uh, if I can assist you in any way don't hesitate to text or email or Facebook or uh, you can call the church um, I publish my email address and phone number in lots of different places yeah, or you can just simply call the church 480-839-0926 and just leave a message for me we're uh, loving people to the best we know how we're trying not to bicker not to um, argue not to create conflict our church is trying to esteem others more highly than ourselves because every person, red, yellow, black, and white, is an imago day in God's image. Uh, time's up. Blessings on you. Have a great day. Esteem others more highly than yourself.